गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश क्लास एट स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर देर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद इंग्लिश ग्रामर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दैट वाई वी शुड स्टडी इंग्लिश ग्रामर one quotation which i have written on the board is that grammar is the structural foundation of our ability to express ourselves students actually grammar is important because it is the key that makes it possible for us to talk about language knowing about grammar also helps us understand what make sentences and paragraphs correct interesting and precise students you should study whatever you can that can help you reach your goals for many language learners the goal is to communicate with people improving your understanding of grammar helps you become a better communicator it is a idea to study it students today i am going to start with the topic the sentence first let me explain you what is a sentence a sentence is a group of words which makes complete sense or we can say a systematically arranged group of words that makes complete sense and ends in a punctuation mark is termed as a sentence remember students it is the systematic arrangement and not just a collection of some meaningful words that makes a group of words a sentence to understand the concept of the sentence let us discuss the following groups of words for example none type time for wait and see in this sentence group of words are not arranged systematically so they does not make complete sense and also it does not end in a punctuation mark if we write time and tide wait for none then it is a sentence because these words makes complete sense students let us discuss parts of the sentence a sentence can be divided into two segments or parts the subject and the predicate in a sentence the subject of the main verb generally satisfies the question what who the sentence talks about employing using one or more words a word or phrase in a sentence which describes or refers to the remaining part of the sentence termed as the subject for example honey bees collect honey in their hives here subject is honey bees students rem always remember one thing that a noun or pronoun can be used as the subject in a sentence again a noun or pronoun can be used as the subject in a sentence second the subject can be a word phrase or clause the subject can be a word phrase or clause 
third the subject occupies different places in different kinds of sentences i repeat it the subject occupies different places in different kinds of sentences now let's know about the predicate in a sentence a word or a group of words which provides information or says something about the subject is called as predicate for example the child cried loudly for milk here subject is the child and the predicate is cried loudly for milk students always remember one thing that a person can be a word or group of words here predicate can be divided into two parts verb and complement the part of the predicate that tells of some action activity process etc pertaining to the subject of the sentence is called the verb now complement refers to something that completes or the part of the predicate excluding the verb the object place time reason and manner for example the merchant traveled long distances on the back of his horse children here subject is the merchant and verb is traveled and complement is long distances on the back of his horse students now let's study about components of a sentence a sentence is a combination of following kinds of components words phrases clauses and punctuations here word a word is a fixed arrangement of letters that has an independent meaning for example fruit animal nation etc second is phrase a phrase is a set of words grouped together to express a partial meaning or incomplete sense the example of phrase is written on the board that is the beggar could not save himself from extreme cold here extreme cold is phrase now clause a group of words that is a part of sentence containing a subject and a finite verb of its own like a sentence is called a clause for example my mother believes that i will fulfill her dreams here that i will fulfill her dreams is a clause remember students a sentence can have more than one clause in it remember this thing once again i'm saying remember students a sentence can have more than one clause in it now next is punctuation marks what is punctuation marks P 
पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स आर सिंबल्स यूज इन रिटर्न लैंग्वेजेस टू डिनोट नेचुरल पॉजेस इन अ स्पीच फॉर एग्जाम्पल Will you listen to what I have to say? Again, I repeat it. Will you listen to what I have to say? After say, there is a question mark. Okay, got it? Now let's discuss about kinds of sentences. There are mainly four kinds of sentences. Number one is assertive declarative or informative sentences these sentences express assertions declarations statements or information in the positive or affirmative or negation means negative form for example a poor man works hard to earn his living students this is a affirmative sentence example number 2 some lethargic people do not cast their votes this is negative sentence these sentences follow subject plus verb plus complement or subject plus auxiliary plus not plus verb plus complement second is interrogative sentence these sentences ask questions or raise queries for example are you ready to leave now remember these type of sentences always end with a question mark they can be positive or negative these sentences follow auxiliary plus subject plus verb plus complement or wh family word plus auxiliary plus subject plus verb plus complement students third sentence is imperative sentence these are the sentences which express orders commands requests advice etc in the positive or negative sense for example first one is write in proper margins this is in a positive manner second is do not litter this place this is in negative manner Now, students, fourth sentence is exclamatory sentences. These are the sentences which express strong and sudden feelings, such as happiness, sorrow, pain, surprise, etc. For example, oh, I have left my purse at home. Here, oh shows the surprise second is alas my dog is no more this here alas shows sorrow these type of sentences are always followed by a mark of exclamation students that's all for today hope you all have understood thank you for listening me stay safe Stay at home